Hi guys, I'm Kevin. And I'm Heather. And we're going batty. Hey, we are live and we're gonna show you how quick and easy Thrive Life Beef Stroganoff is. And we're gonna take the next few minutes and show it to you live, and we've never done that before. So, it's gonna be fun. I'm a little nervous. You, she's gonna do great. I can't edit anything out when I do something stupid now. So. <laughs> Well, hey, there's a lot to see. I'm going to move behind the camera, flip it around, and show you everything that Heather's doing. But we're so glad. As you come on and join us, just know uh, that we, we're we ecstatic that you're with us. So, uh, how ecstatic. you doing? Ecstatic. Ecstatic. We're ecstatic. We're ecstatic. All right. So, here we go. We're going to just do that right okay. there. Yeah. All right. All right. So, I'm just going to show you what I'm using. This is a dish that my kids love. This is a little kid pleaser. They love this stuff. So, um, what we have in this is the Thrive Life ground beef. Um, you can use the uh, the sliced beef, but this works just as well. We have the, uh, the chopped onions in it. We have the beef gravy and the sour cream here. And um, like this is super simple to put together. I actually went ahead and started rehydrating the meat and I put water on to boil. So um, I've got all of that stuff going. So um, I guess the next step is just kind of move over to the stove. <laughs> so, awesome. Well, right. we're going to take you with us so you guys don't feel left out, okay? Come on. All right. So I'm going to move all this stuff over here. Whoop. Oops. All right, to walk in front of the camera, that's bad. Oh, you're fine. No worries. Okay. Well, guys, we wanted to just let you know how exciting we are, how excited we are about Thrive Life and how easy it is to use. I'm going to switch the camera, so bear with me. That's the ceiling. That's what you want to see right there. Um, Heather's going to do a lot of really cool stuff in this pot that you're going to want to see, so we're going to show that to you. If I can keep from yes. tripping so, her, that is. Um, this is funny because there's little fingerprints in our butter. <laughs> Like there's a little, little fingerprint in our butter there. Everyone in our family likes butter, so. Yeah. Oh, probably should help if I turn the heat on. Uh, Katie, if there's any questions, can you kind of shout them out to us? So guys, um, one of the biggest things is that Thrive Life is convenient. And uh, we understand Thrive Life might not be um, at the top of the list for things that are on your mind on this Monday. But we've got a busy day and it's something that we're going to we're gonna use because it's quick, it's easy, and it just makes sense for our family to use on a day like today. Um, there's a lot going on. I've been at work all day and Heather doesn't want to spend a ton of time over the, uh, over the stove cooking stuff. Alright, so I'm going to put some garlic in here. We already have this pre-chopped garlic that I need to use up. So we're going to use that. We kind of like a lot of garlic in the stuff that we eat. so. You can adjust that to however you want it. Um, and we're just going to stir that around. Oh man, it smells incredible too. And the thing about this meal is this is also one that stretches. Like I can put a little bit of meat in this and then put a whole lot of noodles. Oh yeah. And it makes everyone happy. So we've got our garlic going and then we're going to add our chopped onions in there. And we're just going to let those kind of toast up. That looks awesome. Guys, if you're interested in finding out more about Thrive Food, please check out goingbaddy.thrivelife.com where you can get all the information you need to get involved with Thrive Life. We have some amazing uh, food for you to choose from there. So we're gonna let that soften up just a little bit. I'm gonna give it about three minutes. So um, the other thing that I'm gonna do, I don't know if you can see it over here, but I have a, just so that we don't have an entirely beige meal, <laughs> um, I've got some green beans that I canned yesterday, so we're just going to open those up and we're going to go ahead and put them in a, um, in a pan here and warm them up. Here, I'm going to show you the can real quick because doesn't that look great? We, we grew those in our garden. Yeah. That is uh, fresh right there. That is future food. That's what uh, yeah. we are all about with the Going Batty Clan. We are future food. Going to slice my hand open doing that. So there, there you go. Nice, nice deal on that jar. Awesome, huh? So you, one of the things that you can do is you can take um, Thrive Life and you can incorporate it into food that you already have, yeah. and that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of uh, time. That's just good uh, planning. Uh, blah. I think we need one more can. Okay. All right. We well, we while she gets people, that, just get it out of the pantry. There. We're going to continue to watch things cook. So. 
Sweet. Okay. Dump that in there, and we're going to turn this on low and let it let them. They, basically, these just have to heat up. Um, they're already cooked from um, from when I pressure canned them, so we're just going to turn that down. And um, this is looking good, babe. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's good. So awesome. The next thing that we're going to add in here now is I already uh, kind of rehydrated our meat. I found that um, it's best to rehydrate it first, not just to throw it in with everything else. Um, it just does better that way. So yeah, can you stir that for me, honey? I got to sure get some can. more. I got to get some more water to put in that. Absolutely. So, so um, Thrive Life is dehydrated food. It's real food. It's not some sort of Franken food. It's real onions, real beef, um, all of the things that uh, you you'd need. But it's gonna save you a ton of time. Um, rehydrating this stuff and cooking it, and it's just not gonna take as long as you normally would take. So um, it's convenient. It's easy to use. It's gonna be saving you a ton of time. Some of our favorite stuff is the uh, is the uh, beef stroganoff, so yeah. that's why we're sharing it with you guys, so you guys can see how we make it, and then you guys can try it out yourself. And I, can, <laughs> I have to make a huge batch of this because I have three little boys that eat like hungry sailors. <laughs> so, um, so we're gonna do that's probably about. I don't know about eight cups of water and I might wind up putting a little more than that in there because um, we're gonna be putting our sauce in and then putting in um, our sour cream yep. and then just letting that cook and um, the usually beef stroganoff has um, has mushrooms in it but we ran out and half of my clan doesn't like mushrooms anyway so. well and someone was asking what's in beef stroganoff well right now right now all we've put in the pot is butter, garlic, and uh, ground beef, and that's real ground beef. That's ground yeah. beef from the uh, from straight from Thrive Life. Yeah. And when you look at the can, uh, there is pretty much that's all that's in there. Yeah. Is uh, is uh, beef and um, some other things. So yeah. So like I said, I'm using I'm actually using for half of what they call for for the meat. Oh okay. Just because um, it makes it stretch further. And I'm all about making things stretch further. Absolutely. <laughs> so um, we're gonna let that heat up, and it's uh, and like I said, a lot of times it has mushrooms in it, but we ran out of our mushrooms. And actually, I've made it with the mushrooms, and no one's complained about it. They've That's eaten right. it, and they've eaten it well. So everything is good when it comes to that. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, you know, uh, Thrive Life is a healthy way to go too. Um, there's no GMOs. It's got that neutral lock, so it's sealed tight. Um, it, Thrive Life food, when it's sealed, is it's good for 25 years, and then once you open it, it's good a year past that. Um, the garlic is not a Thrive garlic today because we had some leftover from a previous uh, a previous shopping excursion, so yeah. we just we're using up what we have we're, around the house. We're but shopping we're incorporating. our pantry. Is yes, what we're, doing. we're shopping our we're pantry. shopping our pantry and our refrigerator and stuff like that. So um, I just put some of the chef seasoning in that. So. Um, and it looks like our water is getting ready to start boiling so I can throw our egg noodles in there. So the next <laughs> thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put in our, excuse me, I need a whisk. I'm going to put in the beef gravy. Yep. It's not the simple plate meals because we, we are, uh, we, we love the creative, Heather, I should say, we. <laughs> I couldn't cook my way out of a bad movie but Heather uh, likes the creativity of using all the ingredients the different ingredients and making up her own dishes now simple plate does this incredible thing where they give you the recipe and all of the ingredients and you can buy it in servings of two or you can buy it in servings of four and simple plate makes that busy evening that you're having with your family really easy um, and simple so I'll stop talking so Heather can tell you what she's doing oh, I'm just putting in the beef gravy I added a little more because you know gravy makes everything better gravy makes everything better yeah all right okay. so and then we're gonna um, we're gonna add in the um, sour cream powder oh yeah now that's real sour cream uh, freeze-dried mm -hmm. it's it it's, works really really great in recipes that you have to cook with absolutely um, it just it, you know I, I like it in these recipes that I'm cooking 
So we've used it in twice baked potatoes. We've used it in um, this recipe. Uh, we've used it in our enchilada recipe that we have from Thrive Life. And it's worked out really well. So I'm gonna add a little more sour cream powder, I think, to it. Now, here's the thing too. This is, an, this is a cost efficient <laughs> meal. Except if you throw it out all over the floor. <laughs> Yes, the gravy was thrive as well. Ah, um, I just did it again. Well, it is what it is. You and know? I can't let edit it out. <laughs> it's all right. It's fun. It, this is real life. We're getting ready for our dinner, and um, what we uh, what we have found is this is a cost-effective meal. Are you using up the pantry in order to carry less for moving? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. But also, we would be using what's in the pantry anyway because we're trying to build a back stock, a home store, if you will, yeah. so that if anything goes down, we have a back stock. And Thrive helps us do that. Um, we only use what we need. We're not going to make extra. And whatever is left over, the kids are going to eat over the yeah, next day or two anyway. There's not usually a lot of this left over. No. So. And that's the, that's the thing about Thrive Life Food is you can use only what you need. And I think that's one of the things that we, Heather didn't have to ground uh, or cook a bunch of beef and then yeah. save half of it in the freezer. She simply rehydrated what she needed and she put it in the pot so she could cook it and we can eat it tonight. Um, if you get ground beef from the store, it's got a, it's got a thaw out on the countertop or in the sink or in the refrigerator, you've got to uh, cut whatever you're gonna use and then there's the potential okay, of that other half. Okay, I need to half. say something, you need to stop talking. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, we're gonna let this go for about, um, we're gonna let it come to a boil and then we're gonna let it go for about eight to 10 minutes um, until it gets really thick and we're gonna be cooking our noodles over here. So those are almost, um, that the water's almost ready to boil here. But, and then we've got our green beans going here and I'm actually going to cut up a watermelon too. So um, it has actually, uh, what time did we start this video? Because that's kind of, except for the little bit of pre-prep that I did where I measured everything out kind mm -hmm. of before and I rehydrated the meat. 522. 522. So it's, Ish. it's 535. So it's about 12 minutes so yeah. far we've been on. Yeah. So we'll it, just, and um, yeah, I mean, I'm- It's right, saying that it has a bad connection. We might be buffering a little bit, but we're gonna continue on. Yeah, so I'm just gonna move back over here and I'm gonna cut up this watermelon. If anyone has any questions that they wanna ask me why I do this, um, feel free. I Absolutely. Need to, need to wipe off that counter there. There's a little bit of that- A little bit of schmutz on there. Yeah, that gravy stuff. I don't want gravy in my watermelon. And see, uh, guys, I know that you also have um, you may have questions about Thrive. You may have uh, things that you want to know about what it is uh, and how to use it. One of the things that we want to continue to encourage you guys with is this is a cost-effective, convenient way to do dinner when you're in a hurry. Um, <laughs> Don and Terry, you can come over and eat with us anytime you want. Um, here's the other thing about... Um, Here's the other thing about Thrive Food. And it as, just split. <laughs> uh oh. And as as you probably already know, um, this watermelon is not Thrive Food. No, That's an actual not. watermelon. That's pre ripe watermelon, <laughs> um, though. So, so uh, the, yes, I mean, freezers and all the storage that it takes to store all of that extra stuff are very expensive. All you got to do with Thrive Life is put it up on a shelf and it stays good. And so, um, this is a this is a tasty food. This is a food that we use and we enjoy, and it tastes good. It's not something that uh, is like Franken food or tastes weird. Um, here's my question: My did my invitation get lost in the mail? No, Don Terry, your invitation didn't get lost in the mail. She has an open invitation. You have an open invitation. Um, what we have found is, is that on a busy Monday night, with all the things that are going on, Thrive Life fits our bill. And these things will be used as well. Uh, we'll be feeding those to our chickens. Uh, our kids will be eating the rinds off, uh, or the good stuff off the rinds. We don't let anything go to waste. We're That'll even the roasting pan, and we're putting the things in there. The even some the of that will be uh, given to the chickens. So. Yep. 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 But yeah. Anyway, um, it's, it's, this is a this is a great scenario for us as we're going through a bus busy Monday night, and there's. Uh, there's a lot going on and Thrive Life meets the bill. Got a 
Oh, cool. Just... That watermelon looks awesome. Yeah. This, I actually, Krista showed me how to cut a watermelon this way so you didn't lose all the juice out of it. So that works out. It works out pretty well. So yeah. that's something. My kids love watermelon. I need to cut this up and get rid of it. Well, not get rid of it, but. Yep. Uh, Very cool. So, um, so does anyone have any questions for me? Not at this, not yet. I don't see anything on there. Um, let me ask a question of you. What is the quality of the Thrive Life food? Like, what is your experience as a, as a, as a really great cook? You've had some experiences with Thrive Life that have been really positive so far. Mm -hmm. What is it with the quality that you enjoy? I, I haven't had an issue with the quality and I'm, I am, I'm, I mean, I'm very persnickety about the food that my family eats and what I make them and stuff like that. And um, when Kevin came to me and said he wanted to try this, I'm like, you've lost your mind. Which this, I have. Which is, you know, what I told him. But, <laughs> uh, but the more that I cook with it, the more I'm like, okay, I get this. And there is a learning curve to it, especially when you, um, when you cook, when you cook uh, with fresh stuff, um, you do have to, you know, the whole, um, rehydrating and stuff like that and I, I i really did think that it would taste weird and it doesn't it really doesn't there's not you know like a weird aftertaste it like the broccoli the broccoli was the one that scared me when we made something with broccoli one time i was kind of like what <laughs> like this doesn't look right but it it worked really well and um it tasted like broccoli it rehydrated and it looked like broccoli and you know, we, I was really, I was really happy with it. So I don't have any issues with the quality of anything that I've used so far. How about the, uh, how about the taste of it? It tastes really good. I, I haven't had any issues with, you know, anything tasting weird, mm. you know? Mama, how did you learn how to cook? How did I learn how to cook? Yeah. Um, I come from a long line of very fantastic cooks. So that's where I learned to cook from. I learned, um, you know, that's so I learned how to cook and can and um, just bake and all that kind of stuff from my mom and my grandma. So, and I'm teaching it to my daughter. Well, I think that's one of the cool parts about Thrive is you can focus more on enjoying the company of the people around you than preparing all the extra chopping and all the extra pre preparation that goes on. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna check our stuff here. Cool. Okay, it's just starting to simmer now, so I'm gonna um, set the timer. Okay. Let me wash my hands real quick. Great. We're gonna we're gonna go over there so we can see what uh, what's going on. All right. So this is just starting to simmer and thicken up. It's looking really, really good. Oh man, so that does look good. We're gonna put the whisk in the sink here. Hi, Space Cat. How are you? And um, we're going to go ahead and start the timer and turn it on for ah, ah, steamy hot. Be careful. Don't burn yourself. For 10 minutes. Okay, and we're going to just switch lids. And we'll put that on Boom. that one there. The water is at a boil. Yep. And we're we gonna don't have to watch it boil. There it is. And we're going to put our egg noodles in here. How long do the egg noodles have to cook um, for? They, well, whatever the package says. Five to seven minutes. Five to seven <laughs> minutes. There you go. Again, so, it's stuff we've had in our pantry. We're using tonight. Yeah. It's a part of uh, just incorporating Thrive into our regular routine. And I'm actually going to put another like half a bag of noodles in it because, like I said, this is. I don't know if they can hear me over the bag opening. Um, this is something that you can add more pasta to it, maybe less meat, and it it becomes a more economical meal that way. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. We are going to set our timer up here for, we'll do six minutes because I got my oven timer set for this right here. And our green beans are warming up. They look like they're almost done. They look awesome. Yeah. But fresh picked gar uh, green beans from the garden. Yeah. So uh, what questions do you guys have about Thrive Life Food and how to get connected to it? Um, it's something that we've really enjoyed. It's something that we really feel is a quality product. And this is how we use it in our everyday world. This is how we use it in our everyday life. 
It's something that we want you guys to see so that if you have uh, an interest, you can get be a part of uh, Thrive Life as well. If you're interested in becoming a Thrive Life consultant, there's some things that uh, you need to know. One is there are some major perks. You get some, you get some really great uh, free food. Um, when you host a party, you get benefits from that. Um, there's just a laundry list of things that becoming a consultant can help you with. Um, uh, and th that can give you and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit down and give you those things in another video so that you can see uh, what the benefits are like in print but if you want to see that now you can go to our website um, going baddie dot thrive life dot com cool so, yeah. hi to family homestead how are you it's good to see you guys we're getting it ready we are getting ready didn't see garlic on site, are they going to add it soon? That's a great question. I don't know if they're going to be adding garlic to the thing or not, but uh, you know, fresh garlic is always good, and mm -hmm. if you have it on your shelf, a lot of times they'll call for gar just garlic powder. I've never seen in any of the recipes that I've looked at where Thrive Life has their own garlic. Hi, wonderful, beautiful life. Hi, Linda's pantry. We're glad you're with us. We are making beef stroganoff live, and that's not it. That's the watermelon we're having for yeah. dessert. So Heather just got done doing that, but we wanted to show you how quick, how easy, and how alive you can do it. Can you right. tell me about the white sauce? Uh, the, the white bechamel sauce? Yes. Okay, that's just awesome because it is, it, if you know anything about a bechamel sauce, it is the starter to most cheese sauces that you have. So like if you're making macaroni and cheese, or you're making chicken alfredo, or anything like that, it, it's the starter to it. You know, it's usually got flour and milk and salt and pepper and you know, you have to cook it and you have to get it just right because if you don't, then um, you're, you, <laughs> you can make it to where, okay, now you're starting to make gumbo if it gets too dark. So it's, it's you know, so it has made it really easy for me to do things like macaroni and cheese, like um, chicken alfredo or, or something like that. Um, I, I've never been one to make alfredo because I've always been afraid of bechamel sauce. That's the one thing I've never really done well because it can seize up on you really, really easily. <laughs> so, and you don't want that to happen, but it is really good. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, my daughter will make stuff with it. Um, she'll make dinner sometimes and use it. So this is for our dinner a little later. So I'm just going to put the lid on this. So. Um, we did not see a whole lot of the eclipse today. Um, I mean, it, it got a little darker. It got a little weird looking outside, but the eclipse basically was a, was a non-starter for us. We didn't really feel that. So um, if you guys saw it, that's cool. I'm going to move over here to where Heather is. My, my boys were... I, I shouldn't have told them that there was an eclipse going on because then they were afraid to go outside because I told them, I'm like, you can be outside, you just can't look at the sun. <laughs> but when you tell a little kid that they can't do something, the first thing they want to do is that look something that you said not to do. And they're like, ah, I went outside, I'm going to go blind. And I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> That's funny. That's very funny. So we're going to stir our noodles. So do you guys have any questions? Um, feel free to put them in all caps. Uh, Katie is our troll slayer today. She'll be watching out for everything. And if uh, you guys have any questions about Thrive Life, Beef Stroganoff, or any uh, cooking questions that you might have for Heather, she would love to answer them, and I certainly will do my best. Well, I, I, I need to make a trip out to the herb garden real quick. Oh, awesome. I need to get some chives to, to garnish our, our plate with. So while so. she does that, you guys will be get stuck with me, yeah. and I'll, I'll talk your ear off about other stuff. So, um... Oh, geez. Sorry, guys. Uh, do you have a link to your Thrive Life shop? Yes, we do. Uh, Katie will put it up on our live feed, but it's going, uh, goingbaddy.thrivelife.com. And uh, can you tell this is the first time we've ever cooked in front of anybody? Because it's kind of shaky, and I apologize for all of the camera work. But um, there's, a, uh, there's a couple of different things to know about... Um, the website. One is they have the simple plate, which is an awesome, awesome, easy, quick. They have uh, servings and uh, they have two servings and they have four servings and there's all these different kinds of uh, varieties of foods. Uh, you can go there, you can see all the different kinds, but then they also have the grocery box and there's several different ways you can do the grocery box too. Um, the grocery box can be uh, 
uh, you can have a preset where they send you what they uh, some preset items or you can pick or you can have just something random put in your grocery box um, we prefer to pick it ourselves because like I said Heather uh, prefers the more creative route she prefers to put the ingredients together herself but we are gonna uh, we are going to be touching base on uh, <laughs> two family homestead I can't deliver you too far away um, but I, it does look good, doesn't it? Uh, that is uh, awesome smells. So. Okay, so our noodles are done. Okay, and we're off. I'm going to turn that off because that's, well, no, that's not done yet. We're going to turn that back on. Okay. So we're going to pull our pasta out. And I just kind of tip mine sideways like that. And then all the water will drain out of it. Hi, trucking it up. So we're going to stir this a little more. And then when this is done, it's about three more minutes, we're just gonna dump our egg noodles right into that. Oh, wow, cool. So, and then I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna chop up some um, some chives to garnish the plate with to make it look pretty. All right, guys, hang on. I'm gonna make you sick for a second while we move over here and watch Heather cut some stuff up. There you go. Check out how she does that too. I mean, it seems like she's gonna cut her fingers off. You curl your fingers in like this when you hold stuff. So that way you don't slice your fingertips off. So you can come, like I can come right up to my knuckle and and do that. Or you could take scissors and do it. Virginia make a great point. There's no GMOs in this food. Mm -hmm. This food is non-GMO. Um, it is uh, the simplest of ingredients. It is a clean food. Um, and uh, it is the, uh, what is the difference between the uh, drying it in my food dryer uh, and the freeze dryer well uh, the difference I believe and I you know I don't know uh, a whole lot about the process itself is I would say it's the cost of it um, I don't know what kind of freeze dryer you guys have at home or if you have a dehydrator but uh, this is for people who don't have that equipment it's people who aren't going to be able to invest in that equipment and people who are going to uh, uh, have to lean on, uh, the, it, they're really looking for convenience, if that makes I, any I sense. I believe, too, that um, the stuff that is freeze-dried, and maybe Linda's Pantry can help us on this, um, the, the stuff that's freeze-dried takes less time to rehydrate as the stuff that's dehydrated. Dehydrated food takes a little more time to um, rehydrate. Um, trucking it up says nothing wrong with being a lefty. He's one, too. Yeah! <laughs> Left-handed people <laughs> unite. <laughs> Left-handed people are in their right mind. Yes. All right. All right so, so we got like 35 seconds, so we're going right. to go ahead and shut that off. Where are we coming? Are we're we coming, coming back over, over here? here? And we're awesome. just going to dump all of this. Ready? Ready. Right into here. And let's try to get it all in the pot and not on the stove. Here, I'll catch it with my hand. Well, it's off. hot. I'm always trying to touch the food, like yes, right as she that. pulls it off the it's heat. hot. Okay. Get all that in there. Yeah. And we're gonna turn this heat off because now this is all done. We're gonna just stir it up. Angie's a lefty also. Yay! And and J2013, I should say. I'm not alone in this world. You are <laughs> not. Miles is a lefty too. Yes, Miles is a lefty. Alright, so dinner's ready. Boom. That's it? Yep, that's it. We're that's ready. It. We're ready to eat dinner. So let me plate it up. Uh, we'll I can't it. believe it. Okay, so uh, I'm looking at the timer. We came on live a half hour ago, and dinner's yeah. ready. Yeah. Um, and that's that's pretty darn good considering we also did a couple other things. Yeah. So Heather's gonna plate this up so you guys can see what it looks this, like. I'm gonna move this stuff and I'm gonna pull it off the heat. Okay. Yep. You wanna bring it over? Oh no. Yeah. No, cause it's hot. It's hot. Okay. Actually, you know what? We can get a hot pad and put it down. And Oh, yeah, that sounds good, Linda. The, the Thrive Shredded Beef with tacos. Ooh, yummy. Oh, that sounds really good. good. So we'll pull our, our gravies up here, and I'll do a really pretty plate. Aw, that's nice. That's nice. Here, let me get stuff in this. Yes, that's your plate, Donna Terry, for sure. So. All right. So we are going to eat that. We are going to need this. I have to say this to my daughter. Don't touch my computer with your sticky fingers. She's in the behind the scenes eating all of the 
watermelon with her hands, so she can't troll Wait, slide. how did she get watermelon? She's got the little uh, oh. nub. She got the, the nubbin. Nub. Okay. She got the nubbin. Is it hard to eat? <laughs> so there's our green beans that I canned yesterday. Man, that looks good, babe. I'm going to put a little bit of chives on top of that to garnish it. <laughs> Keep it open. <laughs> and then... Ambidestrix. Awesome. Okay. Go. Awesome. All right, so that's our plate. Check out that plate of food. See? Looks incredible. Let's come over here. Right here. Right here. I'm going to turn this around a little bit so don't get sick. Hot! The plate is hot. <laughs> it's very hot. All right. Hey guys, thanks for bearing with us. This is the first time we've ever done anything cooking live, and that is hot. That plate of food is hot. There's the watermelon. Here, let's come down here so you can see it a little bit. That is a great thing of food. And let's give it a little pepper. Yes, let's, let's hold it with something that won't burn my hand off. There you go. There we go. All right, so All right. dinner in about 30 minutes, Thrive Life food plus fresh garden plus watermelon. Fresh watermelon. Any questions? All right, guys, we're going to eat it in front of you because we want you to see we're not afraid to eat our own food. She says it looks yummy. It does look yummy, doesn't it? Yeah. All right. Blow on it. It's hot. It is hot. Mm. I love this stuff. <laughs> I don't want to burn myself. Don't burn yourself. Mm. That's a bomb right there. Mm, those green beans are good, too. Mm -hmm. All right. That's so. a taste of my childhood. I remember my canning green beans with my grandma and my mom, and I just... Yum. <laughs> the idea is future food. We have more of these canned. We'll mm -hmm. be canning more, storing them in our online, our online, online? on our what? online pantry, <laughs> on our at-home pantry, and right beside the Thrive Life food. So we'll have enough back stock that when wintertime comes, we're still eating fresh green beans. We're still eating awesome Thrive Life food, and uh, our. You know, our kids will be fed, which will be cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, guys, thanks for tuning in. You plated it very nicely. Oh, thank Pretty you. plates entices the appetite. Absolutely. If you'd like more information about Thrive Life Food, please check out our website, goingbatty.thrivelife.com. We'd love to have you there. We have an interesting thing happening on Facebook tonight. At 7 o'clock-ish, we're going to be releasing a, a deal. A heck of a deal. Would you like to know? Yes. <laughs> we are going to uh, put out uh, the first five people that give us a $50 order, uh, that make a $50 order through our website, are going to get a free pantry can of whatever fruit that they would like. So please check us out uh, on Facebook at 7 o'clock. Read all the details about the deal and uh, check out Thrive Life, uh, Going Batty Thrive Life. We're going to eat dinner. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you Wednesday night at our live stream where we're going to talk about homesteading, uh, long-term food storage, and all kinds of other stuff. Moving. Moving. Yes. That's two weeks away, right? Yes. Less than two weeks. Yes. My, my son has a calendar. It's more yes. like eight days, He's really. marking off the days. All right, so all right. guys, eat up, eat healthy, and we'll see you soon. More Bye updates everyone. as we go.